Cleveland International Film Festival has been around, uh, we're on the 40th. This will be our 40th year. Uh, 26 years now, I believe, that uh, this will be the 26th year at Tower City, after being at Cedar Lee for all the years before that. Um, Cedar Lee, operating at his art theater, sort of came out of the film festival. They, uh, John Foreman, who is the founder of the festival, uh, rented the theater originally to have a first festival there and did so well that that led to him working with the owner to end up acquiring the theater to run it as an uh, independent film theater, like it's an art house, like it has been ever since. Uh, and eventually the festival outgrew uh, the Cedar Lee, uh, the number of screens and the capacity and the lines around the corners and that, at which I did go to several festivals at the Cedar Lee. Uh, but I already had a deep passion for short films that had been developed from going to a film festival. Uh, I am one of those stories of a teenager who thought, you know, American films were the only thing. And uh, I remember in my early 20s, someone saying, you know, you got to go to the Cedar Lee. And I'm like, subtitled films? Are you kidding me? Give me a break. Finally, someone got me to go see My Life as a Dog. And I was hooked. I'm like, okay, I've been dead wrong about this for my entire life. Uh, fell in love with films. So when the first festival came up after that, I went to the festival to see, I read the guide, picked a couple movies, but while I was there, I saw short film program, number one. What's a short film program? So out of curiosity, I went. And every, I went to every, after that, I was like, that is really cool. And I started going to all the shorts programs I could. The number of short films that are uh, submitted to us each year just keeps growing and growing. Uh, Last year it grew from 1,300 over 1,600 in the, the last two years. I'm expecting, I'll be surprised if we don't hit 2,000 this year because it, a lot more people are capable of making short films now. There are more schools out there teaching people to make film. They're always producing shorts and they're submitting them to festivals. And our festival has, its notoriety keeps rising uh, in the festival circuit, so we keep getting a healthier dose of the submissions. For the average person going to films, what makes a film festival stand out is the interaction with the artists. We bring a lot of feature filmmakers, uh, the festival itself brings a lot of them to town, so there's a lot of Q&As with the actual artists. You get to uh, meet them, talk to them, and hear what's behind the art. So I really think the, the only growth I'm expecting and where, where the festival's going is a continual uh, focus on raising the quality of both programming and the way the festival operates. Well, if, if you're a filmmaker looking to submit to, to our festival or any festival that's like ours, which pretty much plays a wide variety of shorts, um, make sure your film is as tight and right as it can be. Don't mess up the sound. Number one, don't mess up the sound. We all, programmers all agree, if the sound is bad and annoying in any way or hard to hear, those are about the only films, I know for me, it's the only kind of film that I'll turn off. Make sure that your story is really good, that it's having the effect you want. Make sure to have other people look at the film before you send it out there.